Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Special welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the channel. We appreciate you. We are in the beautiful city of Mist. Um, I have a surprise for you. Look at this view. Is this not gorgeous? We are in Final Fantasy 14, in case you uh, didn't know. And I have a very um, exciting surprise for you. After a much um, grueling battle, <laughs> I was able to do this. Yeah, I have purchased a house. It took a while and a lot of painful uh, long hours of clicking, but I got lucky and I got a house in the area that I wanted to be in. Um, I like this one. And I liked lavender also because um, of the fantasy. But I'm in mist a lot. Um, did I just see a ship? There is a ship out there. Check that out. Never seen that. That's awesome. So those of you that know Final Fantasy already know um, this area. But this is a beautiful lot. I love it. It's not super close to the market boards, but I'm not a, a high, um, you know, crafter yet. So I'm not too worried about that. And it's not that far. There's two of them, actually. There's one, like, right down there, and there's another one uh, just up that hill right there. And another one, actually, all the shops and stuff are right below us, so not bad. There's a little island out there. I wonder if you could swim to that island. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I got this house yesterday. Very excited. This city is gorgeous. This whole game is gorgeous. I mean, there's not too much ugly going on in here so this is a lot this is a small um the other ones are very expensive but i like it because all the houses around it are are nice looking they're not you know obnoxious the only thing i didn't realize when i got this house the one right next door is very similar <laughs> Only it's an all stone. Mine is a composite, which is half stone, half wood. I am going to redecorate. I already took the roof, the one that it came with, and made a roof for it. For those of you that aren't familiar with Final Fantasy, I'll give you a tour of the inside. Of course, it's empty right now. I will have to either craft my furniture, buy it, um, or get some help for somebody else to craft it. I've seen a lot of houses that are absolutely gorgeous inside. And I actually am a little old-fashioned. I love all this woodwork. Absolutely love it. So, I don't know if I'll change any of that. I might try to build out some rooms I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the space it's just a large square um, I don't want to close it off but I've seen some people do some amazing things with houses and I'm not really all that creative <laughs> so here's the downstairs it's just a, a big room down here which is nice I love the ceilings I'm a big fan of coffered ceilings. For those of you that don't know, I used to be a builder, remodeler, um, so I'm all about the details in these houses. I love it. So I actually love this style. I don't know about the columns. Um, I don't know if I'll keep those or not. I might change them out. I, I don't know yet but there's you know a variety of things you can do you can change indoor stuff 
um, furnishings, remodeling the interior. You can change the walls out, the flooring, and you can add uh, lights. But until I figure out how I'm going to divide the rooms and stuff, um, probably not going to do any of that because I just have to move them and I, I don't think they're easily moved I'm not sure don't have that much experience with um, houses a lot of it I'll, I'll have to uh, rely on the old YouTube so you got the uh, lighthouse right there it doesn't really bother me. It's kind of blocking the view a little bit, but it's not bad. The only thing it does is it shades part of the house for part of the day, but that's okay. No big deal. All right, so my plans for this house right now are I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Like I said, I have to craft the stuff or get somebody in uh, the FC to help me. They're very nice about doing that. You give them the materials and some of them will help you. Very nice. That helps out a lot. Because my crafters, um, they're getting there. They're not all leveled yet. My carpenter and um, armor are pretty high, but I didn't know you were going to need blacksmith for a lot of the stuff that I am making. So I never bothered to level that. Um, so yeah, I will need help to do that. So my plan so far is I already did the roof. I changed the roof. And I, did, I didn't even realize that house right next door had the same roof. So my bad. But you can change the colors and stuff. So that's, that's what I plan to do with that. Um, the front... I'm going to change the color of that. I'm going to um, change the door also and probably color that. And for the house, um, I'm not sure if I'll change the windows or not because the windows I want are these. <laughs> and I, And this is the door I want. And if I do that, um, my house is going to look very, very similar to this one. And you know what? It's open. So let me, let me see what they've done. If they've done anything. Might give me some ideas. That would be cool. And no, they have not. It looks just like mine. Okay. So they, they probably just got this house also, or ran out of money. One of the two. Because everything in housing is very expensive. Okay, so now they haven't done anything, so I can't copy them. <laughs> no fear of that. Okay. Alright. I love this. Actually, you know what? I tried to get this lot. <gasps> I did. This is the lot that I sat on for I don't know how many hours. I just recognized it because it has a beautiful view and I loved this. You have your own like little pool. Oh my gosh, I did not even realize that. So I'm on the other side. Nice. Okay. And then you also have this, you know, well, there's not much you can do with that. Okay. <laughs> But I like that it's down here by itself. You know, it kind of has all this little area. I mean, you can't put anything there, but it's nice. So that's my plan. I am going to work on some stuff, get some um, materials ready, and hopefully I can find a blacksmith that will make me a door. And I'm going to go on a search for some dye Let's see, you can kind of tell the color I want. I'm kind of torn what to do with the, um, that's not what I want. 
these little boxes can get in the way. I like that you can see. Is that it? No. Corpse blue. Ooh. Okay. I'll try to get. It's kind of hard to tell in the shade that. Oops. Pink house. I always hit the wrong ding button. Alright. Cerulean blue. It's a little hard to see with the shade, but I'm thinking about that one. Um, or there is one that's really dark. I kind of like that one too, if I can. This one. It might be a little too dark though. I think I like the other one better. And if I do that, then I like the wood door, so I'll probably keep that. And then I have to figure out what windows to do, because I, I don't want to copy um, him or her, whoever. So, got to figure that out and just go from there. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video, and I also want to give a special thank you to my friend Coco Sip. She's an amazing YouTube person. I will put a link to her channel in the description. A, this house would not be possible without a, a substantial donation from Coco. <laughs> that was very sweet of her to do to help me get this house, and I greatly appreciate it. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Mazzino. He is a master crafter and he is helping me craft some items for this house and here they are. He helped me make this wonderful door. Isn't it beautiful? And he has also been uh, gifting me things. Very sweet. Made this little outdoor kitchen for me. Love that. And the etherite and he's just been um, very thoughtful and I appreciate uh, everybody's help especially those two because it would not be possible without them thank you so much Coco thank you Mazzino thank you all for watching I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one have a great day guys bye bye